now the latest on June the 11th in the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. We have our 27th storm of the year so far, it's Cyclone Vayu which has formed in the Arabian Sea off the western coast of India. It's June the 11th and it's the only system that we currently have on the radar anywhere around the world. So day 11 in the Atlantic, no storms or any invests active at this time, it's dead. Same too in the Eastern Pacific, it's day 28 and we're still awaiting first storm of the season. It would be called Alvin if we get it, we will at some point I'm sure. And this is the Indian Ocean where Vayu is developing off the western coast of India and will be moving off towards the north. No storms are active in the southern hemisphere at this time, so it's all quiet there too. So the top story, and the only story really, is Cyclone Vayu, which we're now putting at 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 992 millibars off the western coast of India, 245 miles from Panaji. It's at 14.1 north, 70.4 degrees east, and this is what we expect of this cyclone as it progresses towards the north through the rest of this week, becoming a significant cyclone we're expecting, probably reaching Category 2 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, although models vary from minimal Category 1 to Category 3, which is what the GFS has been gunning for for a while. You notice their slowdown towards the end, that's because of uncertainty more than anything. Models are all over the place with its later track forecast beyond three days. There's the wind shear graphic, so you can see the system developing there on the satellite imagery, but the overlay there, the uh, bands, is the wind shear amount. So 20 to 25 knots of wind shear at the minute of those numbers, um, and that is pretty high, but it is going to get more favourable as the storm progresses further towards the north. Looking across the world right now, the northern Atlantic is what looks like this right now. Uh, not much going on, some thunderstorms occurring over southern Florida, the Bahamas and Cuba. Um, and significant amounts of Saharan dust over there in the far east as well, which is an interesting point to note at this time of year. Um, uh, looking at the Gulf of Mexico there, also pretty quiet. Although there are some thunderstorms developing there, pushing off, uh, being blown towards the south uh, over Mexico. The Eastern Pacific looks like this right now. Uh, you can see very little really going on, although a few little bits of convection starting to get a little bit further north than what we've been seeing in recent days um, from the equatorial region to the proper tropical uh, development region. The Western Pacific is very quiet, uh, a remote ocean there looking at us right now. That frontal system is still going on. There was a hint that one or two cyclones could have developed from that short-lived Western Pacific tropical cyclones. Uh, no signs of that happening just yet. We'll keep watching. The Australia and South Pacific region is, as you'd expect, very quiet net by now. Um, you can see just a little flare-up occurring over there in the South Pacific. And in the Indian Ocean, of course, we have the obvious. And also in the Bay of Bengal, uh, there is some fair amounts of convection occurring, one or two little hints that there could be development there later on in the week or next week, we'll wait and see on that too. Sea surface temperatures around the world look like this, the eastern Pacific, very warm in that usual area that we look for for early development off the southern coast of Mexico, 30 degrees plus. The western Gulf of Mexico is one of the warmest places in the Atlantic right now, uh, temperatures nearing 30 degrees. Um, and in the Caribbean, very warm there, 28 to 30 degrees. Uh, 26 to 28 actually I think that was so in the Arabian Sea where Vayu is temperatures very warm soaring above 30 degrees Celsius same too in the Bay of Bengal and also in the South China Sea in the open West Pacific they're still very warm 28 degrees at minimum uh, which is certainly more than warm enough for sustained cyclone development Cyclone Vayu looks like this right now, still trying to get rid of all that luggage to the western side of the cyclone before it can really push on and develop and rapidly intensify quite possibly. We could also be being, seeing the beginnings of that now. I don't think so at this particular moment, but we are watching out for those red flags and those significant intensification signals. At the minute it's still fairly gradual, but it is indeed intensifying, make no mistake of that. The next name in the Atlantic is Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Alvin, that's the first name on the list. And in the Central Pacific, next up is Akoni. In the Western Pacific, Sepat is next on the list. And now that we have Vayu, it's Hika, next, is the next name in the Indian Ocean. 
You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, and you can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages too, search Force 13 all in text at Force 13 on Twitter. That's all for now, we'll continue to keep our eyes on Vayu with more regular updates as well as the tropical weather bulletins. Stay tuned. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord, it's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.